I was sentenced to 25 years. But when I think of all the things he did to me, I don't regret what I did. He killed me too. We lived in the countryside. I took care of the cows, cut the hay, harvested the olives. That was our life. This man used to visit us. He was a friend of my dad, but I didn't really know him. His uncles and my uncles are cousins. They had a fight about some land. One day he came to the house to talk with my stepmother, but no one was home. We argued. He beat me. He raped me with his finger. He spat on me. He said, if you want to bring shame on yourself, go tell people about this. Um, two weeks later, uh, he photographed me naked. Completely naked. He showed me the pictures. He said, I'll show this to your grandma. She won't say anything, but it will kill her slowly. I'll show it to your dad, the man you love most. But if you give me money, I won't tell anyone. So I started giving him money. I would get up at dawn, milk the cows, sell a liter or two and give him the cash. I even stole 1,700 dinars from my dad. He beat me. He did everything to me, but I couldn't say anything. I wanted to run away, but where could I go? Who would accept me? Even if I told someone my story, they would just send me back home or to the police. I even tried to poison myself. About a week after Ramadan, he told me... He wanted my cousin's mobile number, so I gave it to him. I was like an animal on a rope. Whatever he said, I did. I told my cousin everything. I warned her to stay away from him. But then, he started asking about my sister. She's 19. I said, even if she were a whore, I wouldn't let you anywhere near her. He said, whether you liked it or not, it's going to happen. By force, if that's what it takes. That's when I said to my cousin, let's kill him. My cousin came to the house on Thursday night. A little while later, he came over. He wanted all three of us to sleep together. I said... Let's end this here. I forgive you for taking the money. I forgive you for raping me. But let's go our separate ways. I have nothing left to give you. He said, if you have no money, I can give you to my friend. I don't know. The devil took over me. Everything went black. He was sitting in front of the kitchen door. I took the meat cleaver and hit him on the back of the head. I disfigured his face. I cut off his finger, the one he deflowered me with. Then I threw him outside. I want nothing now but God's help and my dad's forgiveness. My dad said, even when you get out, I won't accept you. You have shamed me.